So now that we got the basics of BPR and shadows and painting and that kind of stuff out of the way, let's talk a little bit more about NPR rendering, specifically how you can use materials to give you a cell shaded look. Now there's gonna be multiple ways to do this. You can use materials, you can use BPR filters, which we're gonna to get to later, or you can use a combination of both, but we'll start with materials. If you want to, you can continue on with this object. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the other mech that we were playing with. And if you wanna see the making of this mech, incidentally, you can actually go to my YouTube channel, ZBrush Summit 2018 demos, or if you just Google Pavlovich ZBrush Summit 2018, you can see the ZBrush Summit presentation that I did at Pixelogic. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn polyframe off here. And we'll go ahead and center our object on our screen. Incidentally, you may notice I have some materials down here at the bottom of my screen. That's just a custom interface option. You can customize your ZBrush interface however you'd like. You also may notice I have fewer buttons over here than you do. If you want more information on that, again, go to my YouTube channel, ZBrush for Ideation. That'll walk you through how to set up your ZBrush interface and even hotkeys and custom menus like that. But back to materials. So we've already talked about the uh, render options here and light options, and we can go ahead and keep adding me menus over to the side. If you want to, you can go ahead and get rid of these as well. If you want to kind of clean that up a little bit, and we'll go ahead and drag this material menu over here. And just like I mentioned before, we have the skin shader four. I'm going to go ahead and turn off poly paint. I'm just going to turn that little paintbrush icon off and we'll just kind of start with this. Now we've already uh, changed our shadow settings, so we have a nice flat shadow. We've got a shadow direction here, and again, if you want to change that, just go to your light menu, just move this light around, and then hit BPR again, and that'll update where your light falls. We'll go pull this again to the side here. Now, what I'm about to dive into is specific only to our standard materials. You can get very, very cool effects with your matte cap materials, and again, if you want to get into that, I would definitely say go check out the ZBrush Guide Stylized Rendering playlist on my YouTube channel, and that'll also tell you exactly where to get the PDF that Pablo Munoz Gomez did. But what we're going to talk about specifically is not matte caps, but the standard material options down here. Now, that's not to say you can't have a lot of fun getting a stylized render using matte caps. We'll get into that later when you get into the BPR filters. But if you want to use the materials themselves, probably the easiest way to do that is to use a standard material. 